Well, now it's almost time to explore the monastery, but first... First, I'm going to head up the item shop. Because now I can finally buy Master Seals. And I'll buy all of them. I've got plenty of cash. I should probably sell all of that bullion that I picked up, now that I think about it. Hold on. There we go. That ought to do it. Alright, uh, I am going to save. Just in case. Alright, so. Uh,. Certifications that I want to do. The big one I want to do right now is uh, Dorothea. 89% chance to become a mortal savant. The main reason I want to do that is because she's going to get uh, 8 points of strength if she passes. And also a point of defense, but it's the strength that I'm really after. Uh... I do like the visual design of the Mortal Savant, but if I have her be this, then she can't be a dancer, so uh, my hands are kind of tied in that regard. Still, odds are very good, but they're not perfect, hence the save. And we're just not going to change her. So that's the big one. Uh, Bernadetta is technically really close to uh, Bow Knight. Which is, you know, just a, a sniper on a horseback. The main draw, in my opinion, is that bow range plus two. Like, her stats are going to be tweaked a little bit. They're going to end up mostly neutral. And you can see it there in that plus minus. She, overall, she's going to gain uh, a net gain of one point. So, you know, that part is whatever. But Bernie, learn to ride a horse. Good job. You did it. Oh, and also gained some stats. <laughs> Alright, uh... I think we're gonna go for it. Uh, so the thing about a lot of these advanced classes that uh, my units have been in is that mastering them unlocks a combat art. The only problem is they're only allowed to use that combat art when they're in that class. So Sniper, for example, learns a combat art called uh, Hunter's Volley, which is a two-hit combo. But they can only use it when they're a Sniper. So by being a Bow Knight, she's going to lose access to that. But by getting a horse, she'll get Kanto, She'll get extended attack range. Uh, and she's so strong, she usually doesn't need to double anything. There's no need to, like, force the issue. Anyway, uh, Kaspar. Kaspar can become a war master. Uh, they use axes and gauntlets. Those are their specialties. Go figure. Uh... Really big thing is that crit plus 20? Like, dang. That's huge. Especially with gauntlets? Like, dang.
Odds are high, but again, oh, good. He still passed. Oh yeah, nailed it. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna promote him. The War Master, when they master uh, the class, they get a combat art that gives them bonus damage against every unit. Every type of unit. It sounds really, really good, so of course I'm going to uh, take advantage of that. Or at least I, I hope to, eventually. Uh... Actually, those three might be the only ones uh, who I'm thinking of promoting at this point. Uh, Sedith would be good as a Wyvern Lord. I mean, he gets all kinds of stat gains just from the modifiers and from his base stats. Oh, oh, right, flame. Um, the pokey shoulders. That is a very good point. Uh, good point. Let's see what I did there. I have succeeded. All right. So the only reason I'm not going to change Flane's class immediately is because uh, she'll learn Miracle from just one more battle. So, you know. And then what do we have left? Cyril. I'd like Cyril to become a, a Wyvern Rider. He does have a, a natural affinity for flying, so... It'll take a little more effort to get him there, but when I do, then he can really do some damage. Especially if I keep him uh, using bows, which there's no reason he can't when he's on the back of a wyvern. So, uh, I guess we'll just keep training him up in that respect. Yeah, that, that covers that. Uh, I guess we're going to get some more supports leaking into this. Because uh, I'd rather get the bonuses for those supports. Professor, please do not be concerned. I just did too much overworking and lost my strength. Uh, you okay? Yes, I have no problems. Accept my apology for giving you worry. I have sorrow. Uh, I mean, I am sorry to be fainting at a time like this. Even though I was not asking for your care and attention, you gave it willingly. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. I am thinking that is incorrect. Will you have a listen to me? There is something that I must be saying. I am thinking you already have knowledge of why I came to Bolton. Not for studying, but as a hostage for the Empire. So that Bridget would not be rebelling anymore. It feels like... a knife against my throat. That I am making my grandfather obey the Empire. If I were running away from the Empire, then Bridget would be defeated. I am not having any options. To be living, I must be fighting to win. For Bridget to be living, the Empire needs to be crushed. So I must be crushing the Empire. That is what my people are wanting from me. And what my grandfather, the King of Bridget, is wanting. Well, you know, now that the Empire is engaged in open war, I feel like if they were going to turn on Bridget, uh, they would have done so by now. I mean, it's been five years, but I don't know. Ask me anything about geopolitics of Fire Emblem. 
Anyway, Petra, what do you want? My want? I... I am not knowing of that. The wants of my people are something I have power to achieve. Their wants are my own. Oh, um... If that's how you really feel, then, you know, more power to you. How I really feel... I have understanding. Wait, no, I... I actually do not have understanding. Yet. What I am understanding is that there is something I am not understanding. When I know what my true want is, I give you my promise that I will be telling you first. All right. A rank support. Good. Uh, still more. Let's start, though, by going to the, uh, the tournament. Get that out of the way. Got advanced swordsmanship. Uh, who would be best for that? Level 29 or higher. That's pretty much going to be Petra. Although it would be kind of funny... I think, to send uh, Dorothea in. All right, Petra, let's see what you're made of. me I've got a thing that I have to do <sighs> all right that's a bit tough but I think I can handle it get the bonus crit not that it matters imagine doing a couple of flips to attack the enemy but then you still get them with a regular old uh, Backhand horizontal slice. Alright, she should still be fine. Not for myself, for everyone. Alright. Uh yeah, I'm going to take the heal there. Still gonna win in the end, but... Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Seriously, why is it, though, that I'm stuck using a training sword and my opponent gets steel? Or iron, as the case may be. Uh, this will be interesting. Maybe. And the odds are in my favor, and healing won't make a difference, so we're just going to go with it. Okay, so now that was a critical animation where it makes total sense that it does triple damage. Let's give him the old triple slash. And the uh, Silver Sword Plus is a mighty fine prize. Can't really argue with those results. Thank you, Petra. Let's do some gardening. All those seeds we planted five years ago, they're finally ready to harvest. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, red flowers, albinian seeds, mixed fruit seeds, and why not, some root vegetables. We'll spread some Pegasus' blessings. God, what a euphemism. Mm. 
Oh, Bernadetta is somewhere nearby. Okay. Where exactly? Wait, was she in the greenhouse itself? I just somehow missed her. Oh, she's she's back in her old room. Of course she is. At last, I return to my domain, my lonely paradise, my realm of exquisite solitude. <laughs> huh, Professor? Is that um? <laughs> is that you? You um? You didn't hear that just now, did you? Uh, hear what? Right. You didn't. All right. So one of the changes of the time skip is uh, you may recall that we would have faculty training where the other, uh, like where the knights and the other professors could train Byleth. Uh, well, now everyone can train Byleth. Just uh, paying back for all the... Uh, one-on-one -on -one lectures and tutoring that we've provided years ago. All right, we've got a quest here. Ooh, the big one. Is it, like, available now? There's something on the bulletin board that I'm missing. Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, ah, new stuff for the Italian guild. New things to buy. Already bought a bunch of those. We can finally buy brave weapons. That's cool. There we go. Lots of large fish. So it looks like next week will be the time for fishing. For going for the big one. Professor, oh my, it's so good to see you. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. Oh, all right. Hey, Eloise. Up on ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. Uh, right. The promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead. And now, I'll make good on my word. Well, I guess, uh, five years late is better than never. Gatekeeper. Okay. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago. But I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to... Well... For now, I'll keep training, so I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. Oh, well, everyone loves Gatekeeper. <sighs> Hi, Anna. There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about, aside from my great deals. Always got her eyes on the prize, and you know what? I can respect that. Hey, how about a favor? All right, we'll take on this quest. It's a little nothing of a quest. All right, what do we got here? Um... Needs an artifact or something? Okay, that's... Okay. Uh, 
Looks like we've got a pair of quests here. I wonder if these are like mutually exclusive quests. No, they're too far apart. Uh, looks like a battle quest. Deserters. Hey, I could use a hand. Pirates and rogues. All right. Um, I guess next we'll wrap up these support conversations while we're here. Pardon me. Then we can worry about grinding up a. Professor. Ah, Caspar. Then we can worry about hey, Professor, eating eight dinners. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though. I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Uh, Alright, well... It seems like kind of an odd question, given that we're... That Sedith is making us the face of this army, but uh, why are you reporting this to me, buddy? There is something I wanted to bring to your attention. Do you recall the incident five years ago involving a suspicious individual in Garrig Mark? These brigands all bore the same scorpion tattoo that we found on the arm of that man. Oh no. I thought that might be of interest to you. Well. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. Thank you, sir, buddy. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's good to hear that they've finally been dealt with. But some of the knights died in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. Caspar, that's a if bit of a stretch. If the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. Caspar, buddy. He might have harmed those children. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights, they're not coming back. We both know it. This is all my fault. Taking it a little too hard, buddy. I'm going to have to have another chat about this later, I think. Uh, who's left? Someone in the garden. Ah, this is where we have tea. Professor. Ah, Shamir. Yeah, now's as good a time as any. Thanks for your help out there. Battles tend to go smoother with you around. Uh, same to you. <laughs> I think you did most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. Oh. I still make mistakes, you know. Don't we all? But, judging by the results of our recent battles, you're clearly good at this. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Almost like you know I won't question your orders. Um... Well, it's because I know I can rely on you, Shamir. That's, uh... That's what it is. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leading the charge against the Empire. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officers Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. 
That's no title for the commander of an army. Well, you know what? I actually like it. We'll go with that. They'll always be my students, except in the ways that matter. You'll always be their professor, huh? You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlin alone. But I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda, up until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. But, being a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. Alright, well that's good. And, uh, lastly... Uh, who would this be? I totally forgot. That's why we're finding out. Professor? Oh, Dorothea. Well, of course we're going to talk to Dorothea. This may seem a bit sudden, but I want to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. So, you found me out. Well, of course. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan living in the back alleys of Enbar until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility. I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice, and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade, my voice would change, I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. Gosh, Dorothea. You know what? I won't let you be alone. <laughs> That's sweet of you. Even if you are just flirting. I never had much to begin with in life. And I worry that one day I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songsters. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder... Who could it possibly be? Alright, uh, I think that... No, oh, no, there's still some questing to do. Uh, the cathedral has seen better days. But uh, I'm glad that the counselor service is still running. Uh, I fear falling asleep at night. I worry that I will not awaken for many years and that when I do, all of my friends will be gone. That's a very specific fear to have. Um, you'll wake up when morning comes. Hopefully that's the right answer. That is not the right answer for flame. Very weirdly specific fear for a young girl of inscrutable age to have. Need something. Wow, I've got no renown. See you again soon. Okay. All right, game. If that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. Oh, good. Thanks. All right, got some renown out of it, and uh, it's like Sedith has a quest. Hey there. 
the return of its knights, Garrick Mach is finally coming back to life. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. I will do whatever it takes to find her. I know the battles ahead will Apparently. be Apparently. But we will support you with all our strength. Alright, what's this quest? Oh, a little bit of cash. For handing in some well done. supplies. Alright. Um, yeah, let's talk to our colleagues. Professor? My professor, you haven't changed a bit. At your age, I'd expect your whole demeanor to have changed greatly over five years. Though, I suppose I haven't changed either, right? Thank you for noticing, by the way. Ah, just the two of us, forever young. <laughs> oh, let me have my fun. Oh, Manuela. How about you, Hanneman? What you got? It appears the records and equipment I need for my research have not been damaged. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. Uh, yeah, we can talk Among about that. News, I am most excited to begin. We must find the time, of course. It's true, there's a little bit going on. Um, Alright, well that's everything squared away, so... Might as well chat with Caspar since he's here, and then eat eight dinners in a row. Hey, Professor! You won't believe what happened! I figured I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mach fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. Then, I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. Wow, what are the odds? Oh, we've got morale meals today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> effects are enhanced when dining with an ally. I don't know how many enemies we're going to be facing or we're going to be eating with in the immediate future. This is nearly as del This is my Yeah, yeah. I'm happy that they're happy. Uh Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, oh, I can eat so much of this. It would make more sense. Just eating food all I think it, what it really is is just to help you kind of uh kickstart your uh your support building. All right, Cyril, who can you have? supports with. You can have a support with Manuela. I did not know that. This is so good. Can I have seconds? This is a wonderful... Gosh, I'm really close to getting that, uh... What you call it? The, uh... The maximum professor I'm level. That greatly. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta. I want to see more of Ferdinand and Dorothea's supports. The food here is simple but well prepared. A meal can be delicious without being fancy. Come again. I've never heard a nobleman say anything like that.
All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to spend my points at this rate. Oh, Aloise and Bernadetta have a support, apparently. Well, we gotta get in on that action. There's no one I'd rather eat with than the Professor and Aloise. Hear, hear. Hmm. This old chair keeps creaking. I fear it's on its last legs. Ha! Aloise, you're banished to the children's table. Anyone else need anything? Oh, just poor, poor Anna, all on her own because she's got no supports with anyone. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. This is my most favorite. Di yeah, okay, that's not a terribly interesting thing for you to say. Uh, I guess we'll use our last point on. Uh, we'll let Anna do the the cooking. I think she's earned it. Uh, we'll go for speed. All right, let's get cracking. Interesting. Say, you're pretty good at this. I'll try extra hard too. We got to give the the mascot character a little love. All right, that covers everything there is to do in the monastery at this point. So one thing is uh, the instructions, the the lectures, they still happen. Although now it looks more like a you know a war room meeting than a lecture hall. But, you know, still mostly the same. Uh, one other thing I do appreciate, though, is that to train heavy armor, which I guess to bulk up so that it doesn't slow you down too much, uh, weeding has turned into clearing out rubble. That's good. Uh, but Skywatch. I want Cyril and uh, Sedith. Sure. They have a support together. That would be good. Get some instruction going. What do I need? I think I know what I'll do with Bernie. I'm going to level up her horse riding. Get it up to A rank. I'd never have learned this back in my room. For no reason, apparently. And we'll just focus on her bow skill some more. Pretty well today. It's going to take a lot of... A lot of training to get it to that next level, but... That'll be good for her. Uh, Caspar, I want to get that... That, went way that axe rank up. Thanks for your help. Uh, that, uh, that is good enough. He did get it the next time. Good job. Uh, let's see. Dorothea, I really want to get her magic up to A rank. I appreciate your code. Yeah, good job. Close, but not quite. That's fine, though. Um, who's next? Lenhart has learned all the magic he'll learn, I think. He might learn another spell at A+, plus in reason. Whatever. Ferdinand has maxed out all the skills I'm going to need from him if he's going to learn anything new. Sadith is fine. Flane needs to learn a little more magic. I would like to do this again sometime. Cutting Gale. All right, good job, Flame. All 
Uh, after that, there's not a whole lot. Cyril, get his flying skills up. Yeah, I understand now. I got it. Nice. I knew I could get it. Good job, buddy. Oh, thanks, Professor. That's really nice of you to say. I feel like I've grown a bunch. I got it. Nice. I could have kept going. Oh, you did good enough, so don't worry about it. Uh, speaking of trying to level up a, something to S rank, got Shamir over here. Oh. Good job. And who's next? Well, hmm. Now he's going to get that after the week is over, so I guess we'll leave that. Where it is, um, Seventh is going to need more flying. That was enlightening. That was enlightening. All right. Want to make sure I've got my goals set right. Sniping out of sight. Good thing that was right there waiting for me. Um, yeah, seems good enough. All right, let's begin the training. I have to ask. Oh, uh, all right. I want to make sure I get this right because there's so many professor points at stake. So let's see here. Um, turning to Google. What item would make Gerald happiest? The best bottle of booze you can find. Of course. That makes sense. He did seem like a, a flowers guy, but... No... Uh, you want to excel as a bow knight? No, you're going to keep working on your flying, buddy. Yeah, I guess now's a good time. Professor, a moment. I am sorry that I doubted your ability. I deeply regret ever holding such a view of you. It is obvious to me now that you are extraordinary. Really? Do you doubt your own power even now? I suppose that's only natural. You've lived your whole life knowing next to nothing about yourself. Not even Gerald could have possibly known all there is to know about you. But I wonder, are you satisfied with that? Mm, what do you mean? That's kind of a... An odd question. Are you content not knowing who you are? Or do you yearn to know more? Uh, I wouldn't know where to begin. I mean, I know who I am now. I'm the professor. My students love me. Why can't I be happy you with that? Not knowing. Can you? So, only one more question matters. Are you ready? Ready for what? The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. I do not know what those will be. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. But even if you have such regrets, you will never be able to return to ignorance. So, are you ready to know the truth? Well, I guess I have no choice. I see. That is what I wish to hear. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in you, I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well. And I will do all that is within my power to help you someday reach the truth. Oh, you're not going to just tell me now, Sadith? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that it's the B-rank support, 
So I'm guessing the answers will come in the A rank. Fine, fair. Time to pitch in. Let us begin at once. We didn't do too bad, did we? All right, cool. I think I'm improving. Ah, exhaustive strike. Uh, I think Edelgard learned this one too. That's the combat art where you use up uh, an axe's entire durability for bonus damage. Um, something like 30% of its durability is added as bonus damage. Age is but a number. And I see uh, Hanneman has learned the spell to bring about the end times. Good for him. Uh, yeah, we'll do the him. And I really want to try to catch the big one. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo! Get it? Lo! The utter discord. I cannot stand it. I do wish everyone would listen to one another. Quit your belly aching, Hanneman. You're in church. Yeah, I'm going to explore. I'm going to go try to catch the big one. Since there are lots of big fish today uh yeah gotta use my best bait see what i can get no that's a boring old large fish still a boring large fish give me something good purple fish strange oh no Ah, it's changing rhythms on me. How dare. But I got it anyway. Fodlandy. Is that done me a great service? It was. I caught the big one. All it cost me was one bait that I uh, immediately replaced and got another one. And since that went a little faster than expected, I guess I'll do this final uh, support that has popped up. Uh, where is it? Also, in the tea garden. Of course it's Manuela. All right. Well, yeah. Should be a good note to end on. So I said, two can play at that game. I told him, a small-time little weasel like you ought to be begging me for attention. Oh, it gets me so mad, so worked up. Why aren't there any men around here who understand what a catch I am? Come to think of it, you've always been nice to me. I mean, you listen to all my problems. I feel like I can really trust you. I don't have that kind of thing with a lot of people. Uh, well, you're a close friend, Manuela. <laughs> right, I got it. I knew you'd say we were just friends. I'd like to maybe talk about this once the war is over. Once we're all safe. All right. Enough of this moping around. What we need is a change of mood. We've still got a lot to do together. When I think about that, what are one or two men? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true. But what's wrong? What's 
wrong is it's not just one or two men. It's more like 100 <laughs> men, maybe even 200 more. I'm, I'm completely. No, oh, I can't get out of this mood. That probably explains why she drinks so much. Yeah, exercise will help. I'm going to the training ground. Come on and give me a hand. Gonna work my anger out on 100 training dummies. Maybe 200 if we've got them. Or you can just do that. That's arguably a healthier alternative to just drinking. Probably better for your liver, at least. But, uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it. That's everything there is to do in the monastery. And there's kind of a lot of ground to cover. So that's going to be it for the time being.